ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7 Blazing Sword, uh, Hector Hard Mode, 0% growth, okay, that's not 0% growth, so I'm just fucking with you guys. It's... I wish it was. Oh, Mecca, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, watching you fail again, because I have to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's actually, some people actually made the hilarious suggestion that I'm keeping you trapped in some dungeon and forcing you to watch my Let's Plays. I mean, <laughs> yes, it's hilarious. Please send help. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. Don't, stop joking around, Mecca. That, that could it's be taking so many hours and so many turns, please. <laughs> It's actually... I will call the Norwegian cops or whatever. <laughs> it's a Mecca's actually doing community service, and he got the choice between 20 years in prison or watching. Yeah, I have, to, I have to help mentally challenge people. <laughs> so anyway, let's go. Chapter 14, false friends. We've actually done this chapter before, um, but I wasn't satisfied with my commentary. I was kind of low on energy. I drank a little bit too much wine. Anything, so. <laughs> but I, I, I challenge you, Mecca, to go back and actually watch, uh, watch. Um, the previous chapter when that comes out, because I actually did really well this time around. Um, I actually did not go away from the island. I, I did my awesome strategy of letting Oswin tank the west uh, front, and I actually killed Poussin, and I did really well. So I know how to play the game good. Okay, okay. Did you get the village though? Yes, I got the village. And I didn't kill that many guys with Marcus. Not that many guys. Anyway, it's time for my fabulous voice acting. People have been asking you to voice act, Mecca, but I don't think you're going to. Uh, maybe at some point. I don't feel like doing it now. <laughs> Maybe at some point. Maybe. Um, a droll merchant named Merlinus now joins Hector's group. With Merlinus in tow, Hector sets out for Laos the following day. Laos is located near the heart of Lycia, territory ruled by the power-hungry Marcus of Laos, Lord Darren. According to information gathered by Ostia's network of spies, Darren was definitely involved in Marcus Ferris' disappearance. Despite strong opposition, Hector is determined to uncover the truth. But will he uncover the truth? That's the big question. Chapter 14, false friends. This has so much dialogue on my phone. This chapter has so much dialogue. Aren't you happy we're doing it again, Mecca? <laughs> Are you certain Ferris hair is here? So, try to say that quickly a hundred times, Mecca. Are you certain Ferris hair is here? Are you for certain Ferris hair is here? Are you certain? Oh, Jesus, it's really I'm hard. Certain this game is shit. <laughs> Come on, now, don't don't go all Mr. Anton and us right now. It's a, we gotta we, we gotta be positive, or else the comment section won't like you. Yes, father. Yes, father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. You like my voice acting? Yes. That was the only voice acting I'll do for this entire chapter. Yes, good, good. We just received word from my lookouts. He's still <laughs> be on the hill, but he'll be here before long. You did do some voice acting in your in your parody of me, though. You did some really. Haven't good... you seen my Scottish accent? It's great. No, I haven't. Lord Lanfordell, what's the meaning of this? Perhaps when they reached Santa Ruth's castle, Lord Holman was still clinging to life. You can't be serious. He couldn't have lasted too long, but maybe he told them something. That's terrible. Our plan is all for naught, isn't it? No need to be so alarmed, my lord. Even if he told you young Elliwood something of our schemes, Farron no longer has any power. All Elliwood could do now is perhaps inform Marcus Ostia. Ostia? That would be ruinous. Lord Luther may be young and new to the throne, but he's dangerous. That outer pattern Hellman was a coward to the end. Please type in the comment section what you think adult pattern means, because Mecca wasn't sure last time. Well, like, I wasn't sure Max knew, and I didn't know either, but I thought I'd make him look stupid. It didn't work, though. <laughs> to betray it's us difficult. now. It's okay, I'll do it for the next chapter. Okay, good. But we're so close. We only need a little more time to complete our plans for rebellion. Then, before Marcus Ostia becomes aware of any of this, you would do well to stop them here. Yeah, you're right, of course, we do have a chance. They do have to pass through Laos to go to Ostia. We can still silence them. They must not pass, no matter the cost. But that doesn't make... Just make haste. Call up our finest troops. Father, please let me take the command. Eric, tell me, son, can you succeed? That could clod Elliwood and I study together in Ostia. He's a trusting fool. If he sees me, he'll lower his guard. And when he does, we strike. I see. I beg your pardon, is this not too much for him? If by strange chance he fell, things could turn for the worse. No, I know I'm the lad's father, but Eric's quite clever, I tell you. Snuffing fares well, will there be no trouble at all? I shall. It's up to you now, Eric. Bring me the head of Ferris, the darling son. Say it, Mecca. You gotta, gotta deliver your <laughs> <It's> life. <hotter. laughs> <laughs> Not Look around. They truly are preparing for battle. Bah! Marcus Laos. What is he scheming? 
You don't look like you much. You wanna go to the. You fucked burp. that up last time. Too. <laughs> 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 It's a, it's a, it's a difficult line to utter. You don't much look like you want to go to the castle. There's like a lot of twos here. If we go and learn the truth, we may have to go to war. That's fine with me. I, I've no love for war. If I concentrate on the phone before me, I'm fine. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's, it's kind of insensitive. Aliwood is like <laughs> people dying. Ah, uh, Aliwood, you're so sensitive about killing people. <laughs> I'm fine if I picture families, innocents caught up in our foolish politics. If I imagine them, all I can do is pray for a way to solve things peacefully. It's quite Ali a contrast with like crit quotes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where they're like, yeah, I'm killing people. Woohoo! <laughs> lord Aliwood, a knight has ridden forth from the castle. A lone knight? Yes, my lord. Our scouts say it's Marcus Lau's son, Eric. He's asking to see you. Eric? Gah, what it have to be that buffoon? I will see him, bring him here. But Marcus, is he wearing blue, green, or red armor? I'm leaving, I could never abide him. I'll go for a ride and survey our surroundings. <gasps> He's wearing red armor! Well, Elliwood has red hair, so it's okay. Ah, they match. Good day, Lord Hector, is Elliwood with you? Nah, he's treating with Marcus Lau's son, Eric. Is it wise for you to be away at this time? Eric's a contemptuous peacock, he's intolerable. And he made a show riding from the castle alone. Something feels odd. That is unusual. I've been thinking, my lord. Laos is blessed with clear water and fertile ground. See the shades, it's tall grease. <laughs> tall grease. <laughs> tall trees and grasses cast. Ideal for hiding soldiers, don't you think? <laughs> You're right, Oswin. I'm going to take a look around. Very good. Let's split up and double our ground. One more thing, my lord. What is it? Don't let yourself be distracted. Keep your guard up. Ha ha. Yes, mother. I will. No father. Two out of ten. Eric, what is that you're trying to find out? Pardon? Everywhere I look, Klaus prepares for battle. What are you and your father planning? I will know the truth. And uh, now we'll see how brilliant Eric is. Hmm. I have to wait until you told me of Ostia, of whether or you've spoken with the Marcus or not. Didn't even try. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, 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 I will now reveal that I am evil for no sake at all. Hollywood, I have always despised you. How long to smash you and your pathetic morality into pieces? I've dreamed of this day, and here it is at last. Too bad you'll not leave to see the end of it. Or <laughs> leave. Hector. You, you, Hector. You couldn't. Have you spoken with Ostia already? Yeah, I just went over there and, and shouted, like, Uther. Maybe we have. <laughs> Maybe we haven't. Hollywood, this mongrel has troops lying in ambush all around us. Laos regulars, every one of them. We're in for a tough time. <laughs> There's little point in fighting. You have trapped. My forces will overwhelm you. An unending torrent of soldiers. Laos elite's knights are at the ready as well. You know, come to think of it, Mecha, an unending torrent of soldiers is probably the least threatening thing in Fire Emblem. It's like, oh no, don't send free experience. Oh God, that's, that's pretty bad for Bartray sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, actually true. <laughs> How long do you think you can survive? Craven Cur. <laughs> Burn. It's like Eliwood's most insulting. This Hollywood at his angriest, right? <laughs> yeah. when, he, when, he, when he drops the Craven Kerr bomb, you know you're in for a rough time. Alright, so Molina says something. So I've already done the battle preparations off screen. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna do that from now on. So yeah, this is uh, this is chapter 14, False Friends. It's a co picture copy of the one from um, Fire Emblem 6. This map is also there, uh, with Eric as the boss, but this time around we're facing young Eric, and he has a horse slayer. Um, he's not particularly dead and dangerous though, Marcus can deal with him quite easily. Uh, he takes three hits to take Marcus down, because horse slayer sucks in this game. And uh, you gotta be you gotta be pretty fast. Uh, Mecha actually told me something I was not aware, um, and that's the fact that if you don't... I tell you things you're not aware of all the time, dude. <laughs> that's true. But uh, if, you, if you don't visit this village, but keep it alive, you will still recruit Priscilla. I was not aware this was, this was the case, actually. I thought you needed to visit the village to recruit her. You learn new things every day. I'll tell you something else. You can also recruit Urk with Priscilla if you really want to. <laughs> oh, right. Using Sarah. <laughs> All right. That's... Really? I was not aware. Yeah. What? Seriously? Sure I've never done that before. Holy shit. Yeah. Now I actually want to do that. But that just means Eric. Rip just... tactics rank, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So in a Hector Hard Murder and Hector story, you get these soldiers and this armor knight as well. But Bartu should be able to deal with them quite easily. So yeah, um, let's go. So, uh, we actually forgot to talk about a character last time, uh, and that is Mr. Melinus. This is just tutorial shit, so I'm just gonna skip that. So, so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Merlinus, uh, after Sarah's done doing her thing. Uh-oh, I think we've been surrounded! Uh, but I'm not worried a bit. 
I'm with you after all, Manx. We make quite a team. Right, come I on, agree. Manx. Quite a team. Started. <laughs> Manx and Sarah. Best Actually, shoot. they're kind of opposites because, like, Sarah saves people from dying. <laughs> hey, don't finish that. Hmm, we certainly could stand some assistance. I'm sorry, but it's not just possible. If we disobey Marcus Laos, who knows what might happen to us? I understand. We'll seek our aid elsewhere. You'll find the same answer everywhere you go. Eventually, you'll have to do as Demarcus orders. You would do well to tell your employer the same thing. Hmm. Good day to you. Alright, so, uh, in this chapter we get Merlinus. Uh, you can deploy him every single chapter. Uh, there's seldom a downside to not deploying him. He, uh, gains a level every time he, uh, survives a battle. And he actually have growth rates. Uh, he will pretty much always get a point in hit points, skill, speed, luck, and sometimes defense and resistance whenever he survives a battle. Why Merlinus has a 90% skill growth, I don't really know. I guess he needs to hit things. But <laughs> but uh, he also has the highest con in the game. So for that reason alone, I rank him 5 out of 5 stars. Because, you know, there's... What, the, why, why, I mean, you could you could rank him 1 out of 5 stars, you could rank him 5 out of 5 stars or no stars. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just a free unit. So why not deploy him? Uh, what do you think about Merlinus, Mecca? Uh, there were some really heated discussions, like, ten years back or something, about whether Merlinus counted as a unit or not. <laughs> it's really <laughs> stupid, because this is, like, the stupidest thing ever to argue over. Uh, Merlinus is obviously great. I think this is, like, the one chapter where there's a bit of an opportunity cost in fueling him, because he can get attacked by the reinforcements and slow you down. Uh, but for the rest of the chapters, there's no reason to bring him there. It really doesn't matter if he levels up or not. It really doesn't matter if he promotes or not. Uh, but it's pretty cool, I guess. He doesn't uh, affect like your uh, he doesn't affect your experience rank, does he? No, because his levels are all free. <laughs> oh, right. I don't think he I don't think he really gains the XP. He just levels up. Like you can see this um, the thingy next to the E from the XP it doesn't actually have text next to it. Like oh, it actually right. have numbers. See, so I yeah. think he just levels up and doesn't really get the XP. So Merlinus actually has supports, but they're really slow, and if you're doing a ranked run, you'll never really see them. And he also has the Darkness affinity, which is not a great affinity. Um, I think he supports with uh, Marcus, Nino, and Vida, so his support cast is kind of limited. Why would you ever keep it's Marcus? actually Marcus. Yeah, why would you <laughs> keep Marcus next not? to him? <laughs> I, actually, yeah. I actually like his support with Marcus, because Marcus is going like, guarding the convoy is an important dude, and Merlinus goes like, no, not really, you should, <laughs> <laughs> you, should be going, you should be out there fighting. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I remember. it is. Yeah, it is. Nine. It is Nino Feta, huh? Marcus. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and um, if you get Merlinus up to level twenty, he will actually become a wagon, like in Fire Emblem Six. And uh, at some point, he'll become pretty much unhittable. But you don't really gain anything out of this because since he can't kill anything, enemies will just go for him, and they'll not kill themselves on enemy face, which is not good for you. So at the end of the day, he's kind of you know. It's nice to have him moving around as a wagon, there's no reason not to, but he doesn't really give you much. But I give him a 5 out it's of 5 stars. It's a dodging tent, what more could you want? It's a dodging tent, yeah, he's, he's the most evasive tent ever. Alright, we also got another unit over here, we got Urk. Uh, Urk's a, the first mage you get. You can train him in Linda's story, if you play that, and that's definitely recommended. But because while Urk's bases are very good for a level 1 unit, they're not fantastic for this map. He also comes with a Thunder Tome that slows him down a little bit, so he won't double anything on this map, except for some of the soldiers. Um, I do like Urk though. He has pretty balanced growth rates on average. He's kind of like the Lou of Fire Emblem 7. He's got a 50% uh, a, uh, magic growth and a 40% 40 40 speed growth, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, that, so he's he's a serviceable unit. Um, I personally find the other Sage that joins later in the game a lot better of a unit, but Urk's a very respectable candidate. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even counting the third mage. Um, so I, I rate Urk a 3 out of 5 stars, simply because he's a mage. He's a decent mage. He can do some nice damage. And uh, yeah, what do you think, Mecha? Uh, I like Urk quite well. He's not bad at all. The thing is, his magic isn't very impressive. I think it's worse than his speed. Growth wise, yeah, it might be 40%, uh, 50% decent. actually. When I, when I, when yeah, I think about yeah. it, yeah, I think it is. Uh, but this, is, this isn't a huge issue because when you use magic, you hit the resistance stat, and enemy resistance is usually a lot lower than uh, their defense stat, so you usually two shot things anyway. And Urk is pretty fast, so he'll usually double and kill something. Uh, his main issue is his durability, uh, which you can see at, at base is already pretty bad, and the growths don't really help. Mm. Um, so that can be an issue, so you kind of have to protect him. Um, I do like him, like, even though there is a Sage that is better statistically when that Sage joins, the thing is that Urk is around so much earlier and has so much potential of his own that there's really no reason to ditch him when you get that Sage, like, he can just use both. So you really just judge Urk by, by his own merits, not how he compares to 
people off the same class because they're really both very good units. True, true. Uh, I, I mean, not not like not like Marcus level, but he's still pretty good. So I, like three out of five is fair for him. I think that if you take your time to give Urk a couple of levels in the story, he could potentially be a four out of five stars if he if his bases go up a little bit. So if you get, oh, for sure. sure. If, if you get base, if you get his base speed up to the point where he doubles the units in this chapter, he becomes an absolute beast. Yeah, I think I think right now what he does is kind of misleading because he's using Thunder, which weighs him down a little bit. But once you buy him a Fire Tome, he can actually double some slower enemies already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he also comes with a Goddess Icon. I'm probably going to sell this because it's worth 5,000 gold. Two points of luck is not worth 5,000 gold in my book because, it, I mean, from, from two points of luck, you get one point of hit, one point of evasion, and two points of critical avoid. And that's really not effective at all, in my opinion. There's not really any units that get this and, like, gets marginally better. You hardly don't notice it at all. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably just going to sell this for the money. Yeah, I wouldn't use it, um, but if you sell it, you I think you only get four thousand because every stat booster I think is worth eight thousand. I think uh, you do have to keep you do have to keep in mind that if you if you sell a weapon uh, or if you sell anything, then your funds rank gets reduced. Right, cause, right. Because you only get half the value, right? But then if you buy things with the silver cart with that money, then you can make up for it again. All right, we're back. A lot of people always go, "Mangs, why on earth don't you use Discord? Discord doesn't have screen sharing, idiots." I, I, there is no way to screen share on Discord. If it was, I'd, I'd use that command, but... Discord is supposed to be a gamer thing, right? Um, yeah, it's weird, actually. I don't understand why they don't have a screen sharing feature. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? All right, she low and didn't, didn't, take, didn't take damage. All right, so what I'm going to do right here is a trick that I developed completely on my own. Um, I'm going to equip... I'm going to rescue Rebecca. Isn't that smart, Mecca? <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. I wonder who suggested it. I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to put Marcus right here. Oh, that's great. So that way, that way the, the archer can attack you from the forest and nope, you'll never hit him. He cannot. You rescue him. He cannot. Oh, right. He can attack from this forest. Fuck. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, well. It's fine. I can see this is a bank strat because it wasn't optimized. <laughs> well, it's... I can see you thought of this one of your own. <laughs> Well, uh, the rescuing Rebecca one was was my own strategy. Hey, what's this? Looks like a war is broken out. <laughs> Perfect time for a raid. Up and out of mates. That village is ripe for plunder. So last time when we did this map, it actually started to rain, and I almost didn't reach the village. But because of my impeccable calculations and mang strats, it stopped raining right before we reached the village. So we managed to get it anyway, which is quite awesome. So when uh, when Marcus carries Rebecca, his speed gets reduced, which means he won't double, which means he'll soften all of those guys, hopefully. We'll see if he actually does so or not. And then the rest of my guys should be able to come in. Ah, hi there. You know what? This is fine, too. This is actually completely fine. Loan can deal with this guy quite easily. Look how little damage Loan has taken. How can you not rate that four stars? Um, I might have to redact that, actually. I, I Because the thing is, I, I took a look at Kaint and Sane's stats. Uh, their bases, and I saw that their bases are actually lower than Lowen's. Yep, Lowen also has one more con, so they, he doesn't even like lose speed that badly to Kent. No, it's like, he actually... can use a steel sword without losing speed to Kent. That's actually kind of cool. Good. Strength. <laughs> Whoa, Bartray is good. What? The... Bartray is good confirmed. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Rare footage is... of Bartray being good. Oh my god! What the hell? Why is Barcher so good? Oh my god, Marcus got doubled, lol. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, I hope he hits that archer, that would be nice. Also, I'm wondering if I should do something about that Pegasus Knight. Uh oh. Okay, come on, hit him. Shit! Jeez, if only he wasn't rescuing someone. <laughs> hey, that, that's not the error. My The error was my positioning. Alright, this is good though. He, he weakened some of them, not all of them, but some. All right. Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? No. He left yesterday in search of a way out of here. I just hope the soldiers of Laos haven't captured him. His search for help must have been fruitless. Marcus Laos has ordered that no aid be given to you. There's really nothing that any of us can do. I apologize, but... No, no. You could turn me over to the Marcus, and yet you continue to grant me asylum. I'm grateful for that. Of course, I, if I simply went over to the castle, this would all be over. Don't fret over that. None of us are overly fond of the Marcus. It's always tread threatening us. He treats us like slaves. All these war preparations, we want nothing to do with them. We may be divided into territories, but we're Lysians one and all. <laughs> Hashtag, not all Lysians. We may be <laughs> invited by another country one day. And why does he want to start a war here at home? None of us understand what he's doing. 
man. Those Lysians. Alright, so I think I'm actually probably just gonna go for Rebecca this time around. I mean, Rebecca. not Rebe <laughs> Priscilla. Uh, because... You're carrying Rebecca. Yeah, I know I'm carrying Rebecca, but I think I want to go for Priscilla because um, last time we got the rain and that almost fucked things up, so I don't want to do that. I'm just wondering if I should equip the javelin or if I should. Hmm. I'm to think of it, can't this. Yeah, this pirate will be able to attack me. Just not good. I guess it makes more sense if you do this because I, I wouldn't really do that. Um, but the thing is, I guess it makes more sense for you to set Marcus there if you're not going to have Marcus kill everything. Yeah. That way there's no real way to catch up to the brigand from the north. Yeah, because exactly. that's really the problem, isn't it? It's not the pirates from the south. It's no, the it's it's, the uh, it's this fucker right here yeah. who will make his way south, and the rain will start. And it will, it, the rain will start when he's around here. And if you're not close to the village, you won't be able to get there in time because you get slowed down so much. So you, you know, what if what if you didn't visit the Iron Blade Village? Wouldn't the brigand go for that then? That's a good point, closer. actually. That's actually a really good point. And you can kill him. Hey, hey, oh my hey. gosh, it's like it's been so long. What are you doing here? Oh, Sarah, you're the last person I wanted to see. Oh, that's so sweet! You wanted to see me again! <laughs> hey, I know, this is perfect! Come with us and lend a hand, Urk! I beg your pardon? Come on! I'll even introduce you to Lord Hector and Elliewood! I know you, you're probably just wondering about what I work! No, sir, I'm afraid I'm gainfully employed, however, if you're fighting Laos, this might work out after all. What are you babbling about? Make up your mind, will you? My employer is hiding in a village south of here. If you'll help me protect her, I'll join up with you. Alright! Now we got Urk. Now, uh, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Now, what I can do, though, is I can still put Urk on the village and kill the Armor Knight. Then they won't go for it, maybe. Yeah, but they, if I but if I then move... From Urk. from their viewpoint, they can't get to it. It's the same if you put Urk in the choke point. Yeah, but the I can just... Will be like, but but I can it doesn't just... matter this turn, because the, the, the Brigand doesn't really have to choose yet what he goes for. Yeah, like, I, I just think that if I place world. him here, he'll be able to kill the Armor Knight, and that's one Armor Knight less that I won't have to worry about. You know, because, you know, more yeah, guys... You might as well keep him closer. You go to the right then, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. You can also just kill him, yeah. Yeah, but... I don't think the cavalier can reach you. Uh... I think he... Oh, the forest, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but the problem is this guy's in a forest, so Urk will probably miss. Oh, Maybe, no, he actually... has four chances to hit him. Yeah, okay, fine. I guess. All right. Listen to the mecha strats, I guess. Um, ba -bong. You can also just keep him as far to the right as possible while still countering the knight, and then he's closer to the to the right where he can be protected by other people. Yeah, but this archer. Yeah, true. He can kill Urk, so I'll keep Urk here to that. He gets a little bit of a void from the village, which might help him in dodging the armor knight. And meanwhile, I'll just send a Boswin into. Ah, should I? Eh, this is the only guy Boswin can kill this turn, so, and I prefer to get rid of as many of the mercenaries as possible. I know you hate it when I give experience to Oswin, but, you know, I kinda have to. I mean, I don't care. I'm just gonna laugh if you fill the XP rank. <laughs> That's uh, my entertainment. That's really the only reason I'm here. Right, right. Um, hmm, 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 I'm thinking about... I should probably kill one of these soldiers, but the problem is that Barker is getting a little bit low right now. I might have to help out with Hector. I might have to let Hector deal with the Pegasus Knights. Oh, this... No, this Pegasus Knight does not have a Javelin. But he gets weighed down. I don't think Hector doubles. Nope, he does not. I guess if I just keep Hector here... With... My hand axe... <laughs> mm, oh wow, he does double! Holy shit! Nice! Oh, wow. nice math. Nice! Well, I'll just keep Hector here with an Iron Axe, and he'll deal with both of the Pegasus Knights. I'm not sure if I should keep Elwood in the forest or not. I think he might die. Um, same thing with. Pretty sure he'll die to the soldiers if you move him like like anywhere to the left. <laughs> you know, if you keep him there, then he'll die to the Pegasus Knights. So good, good job. Yeah, good job, Manx. Yeah. You can take one Pegasus, I guess. Uh, maybe. Or but I could just I could just also move him up. This is so barren. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Mecca, yeah, you're, you're roboting again. You're roboting. I'm not even talking. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're better now. <laughs> okay, so... Good, good. good. Um, hmm. There's a lot of soldiers here. Also a lot of archers. Well observed, Mines. You're a great tactician. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of soldiers here. Very true. But I mean, I... Didn't Eric tell you what he was going to do? Something about an unending torrent of something? <laughs> well, was it an unending torrent of mercenaries? We, we can't trust him. He, he's a liar. 
it's true, just look at his eyes, you can tell. Yeah, and it's red armor. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll simply just keep Guy. We can send Guy this way. Same thing with Matthew. And we'll let Lowen and... Yeah, we just gotta get Ellie with the fuck away from here, because he's a little bit in a difficult situation. Ah. Yeah, this is not good. Looking pretty great already. Looking really oh, this good. Is turn two? Jeez. <laughs> Well, I guess we can keep Ellie with great. <laughs> keep Ellie with a loop on the river. Mm, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, he gets and attacked. He just gets attacked by archers and attacks his knight. Oh fuck. Which me. is probably better than attack by four full, four soldiers and archers. But you know. Yeah. Anything is an improvement over your strategy. So. That's that's a good point. But now he he takes ah, man, this is uh this is tricky actually. This is not good. I guess. Equip a lands reaver. Mm, if only I, you know what I'm gonna put him here. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's gonna go well. That's my plan. Oh shit, Bartra, no. Bartra needs to dodge like two hits, I think. He needs to, yeah, it depends on what the Pegasus Knights go for. Oh shit. I can tell you what I'd go for. <laughs> like, their only options are like Bartra and then Hector. So. Uh, my god, this went completely fine when I tried it on my own. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> shit, oh my god, I'm getting Fire Emblem Six flashbacks right now. Roy always gets fucking shot by the nomads. Hmm. Wonder what I did wrong. My Honestly, I think you just need to come up with a plan for turn two earlier than turn two. <laughs> <laughs> if you just move in without thinking where everyone will go on turn two, then you get this kind of situation where you can't really move anyone safely. Right, right, right. Okay, well, we, we have to restart you might now. Someone behind with bar trade. Maybe, maybe Dorf Cast. I don't think he really does much else. Like, look what he's doing right now. It's not much, is it? That's a that's a good point. Mm. Okay, so you st do you think I should attack these guys with Marcus? Um, no. Well, I mean, it, like, okay. Let's say you attack the upper one, and then you put Lowen in his range. Right. Any suicides? Oh, good idea. Yeah, I think probably it's better to not do the Re Rebecca carrying threat. You might be right. All right. So what we'll do now, we'll attack this guy with the sword. No, wait, then we won't kill him. Oh, wait, Elliot can get the kill. Aha! Perfect. That's awesome. It's ability. It's even better. Yeah, this is where we're fine-tuning the start of turn one. This is amazing. Bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need to deal with that damn turn two. <laughs> That's where things always go wrong. This is gonna make it better. Yeah, like this time Marcus is like nerfed. He's like Super Saiyan 3 Marcus instead of <laughs> training Marcus. <laughs> oh, Ellie would even got a good level up. Nice. I actually kind of want my lords to uh, to get some experience because I would really like to get Geats over uh, Wallace. Because Ge because Wallace. Uh, sucks. It's not gonna happen. You don't think? That's I can tell happen? you right now, this is not gonna happen. You sure? It's not gonna happen. Uh, you want Lloyd anyway because it's uh, really easy to finish with. Him. Mm, yeah, maybe. You sure? That's where you're right? I always, I always thought it that because you know I kind of want to use Gates because it's kind of cool. I never used him before. Um, boo, boo, boo. Know, it's, like it's really tough to f like you have to get him to an average level of like 17 by a really early point, and at that point like, like they're, they're not even gaining much EXP even though they're unpromoted because the enemies are unpromoted too. So you really you like. You're, this is like Kinship's Bonds, Live and Legend, Live and Legend kind of stuff, you know, where you kind of want to use good units, and you want to train weaker ones like Wrath and Heath. Mm. But instead you're stuck feeding kills to Eliwood and Hector when they gain like 70 XP per kill, just right. to get a better character. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> it's a huge pain. And you don't have many deployment slots either, so you have to deploy these five move sword wielding units. Right, And you right. really just, you get like three flyers and... It's such a pain. It's not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. Alright, well, wow! A Bartra actually doubled that soldier right now. That's cool. And... Yeah, some of them have, like, one or two AS. Hmm. Okay, so, well, this will make the turn considerably easier, because Marcus will finish them all off. Is he gonna kill four soldiers? Uh, I hope not. He might. No, he's not. Okay. No, the other guys can't reach him because of the woods, so... Yeah, it's fine. Go, Bartra, go! Do -do 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 -do. Come on, double the soldier! Yeah! We rolled luckily on the hard mode bonuses, so they didn't have one extra point of speed. This makes it a lot easier. Now Bart can deal with the Pegasus Knights. Mm -hmm. 
Can nope. make you use a vulnerary if he doesn't have anything to attack. Yeah. No, he, yeah, probably. Did you, you didn't give him one, did you? I gave him one. It's okay. Oh, okay. I gave him one. Chink! No! Oh boy. Fuck! <laughs> Marcus! For fuck's sake! Why? Why, Marcus? Why? But yeah, I think I'll just send Marcus down to get Priscilla immediately, and then I can use Priscilla to heal up Marcus. It would be nice if he missed one of the javelins. Uh, he's not gonna miss one of the javelins. Fuck. But Marcus is gonna level up on the next archer. Let's pray we get a good one. He's gonna get one point of skill and one point of hit points. That's what I'm. That's what I'm predicting right now. Oop. You don't want Marcus to be too broken. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Marcus is good. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Think, yeah, without that speed level up, I don't think he doubles. Hmm. He's not the always not the pirate cedar, but now he's. Which is good if he's going off on his own, right? Yeah. You're not gonna send anyone with him. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna send him down here. Yeah. Just send Marcus alone, like he's used to. Yeah, and I'm probably just gonna equip our Iron Lance, I think, maybe, or a sword, I don't know. You can lure the pirate this turn if you want. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Or you can do it, with, or you, if you want to feed and kill someone else and don't, but... Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing this, but I do want to kill this guy. Because he's annoying. Mm. He's kind of annoying. Because if you get rid of him, then everybody, everything else there has one range. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. And the, both of the Cavaliers to the south have swords anyway, so they'll be, get a weapon triangle. To, not that that matters with Marcus, but still, I, I like to think that it does, because Fire Emblem Tactics, you know. Like the most basic level strategy, so... You know, trust... trust. I'll, I'll hand that one to you. Tr trust no one. Build an army. <laughs> Fire, <laughs> Fire Emblem. I'm just using the trailer as a, <laughs> as a tutorial, you know? Alright, I think I want to do this still. Uh, but Sorry. But I think what I'll do is I'll put Lowen in the forests. Lowen is actually really good in this situation. Because if you put no one else in these guys' range, then like all the soldiers will suicide on him. Yeah. So they're like, ha, Lowen, he's an easy Unless target. they really feel like attacking Altwin for some reason. I think they'll go for Lowen. I mean, it depends. The AI is really weird in this game. It it, it, it doesn't seem to prioritize hits for whatever reason. No, it, it goes for damage for sure. Yeah. I think we'll send everyone over here, actually. And just let Altwin and Marcus clean mm -hmm. up the middle. Um, I would have sent Hector to the south, but whatever. Yeah. Nine strats, I guess. Nine strats. Okay, we'll put Dorcas in front of this guy, and we'll put Barcher right here and use a Vulnerary. Um, then I don't know what we'll do with... I'm, I'm so glad we have Rebecca available. Yeah, I know, right? Extra attacker and shit. Yep. Um, Very good. She's just a complete liability right now. In fact, really good. she's in the Elliwood situation again. I guess this is the last part that needs to be optimized about turn two, huh? Yeah... Well, she can take one hit from the mercenary. She won't. She won't get double from this guy. I hope. No, nope, she won't. <laughs> I think she leveled up speed, didn't she? She did, or else she would have gotten <laughs> shotted by that guy. Oh fuck, that guy's a honorary. Ah, I she... told you this last time too. You did. You did. Oh. What happened to Dorcas? Well, at least I'm getting experience. I, I I did quite well on the last map. I got a lot of experience. Oop, forgot to turn on animations. Oh, wow, this guy had one extra point of hit points this time around. That us guy usually gets killed by Urk. Oop. Good job, Rebecca. This is... A lot of people really got angry that we gave her a one star. And this is the reason why. I mean, I don't understand how anyone could view Rebecca up anything above one star. What the fuck, Marcus? <laughs> what the fuck, Marcus? Like, I just don't think people realize that, you know, how bad she is, because they really want her to be good. I think what happens is people, like, play the game completely, they raise Rebecca, and then they, at the end she's very good, because she's got, like, 40 level ups. Yeah. She's super fast and kills stuff with good weapons. So you forget about how bad she was at the start. Yeah, I think so. Nice one, Barcher. Wow. That's not a really good level up for Barcher, actually. He's doing really well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. They play. They use her on the last map, they give her the Rhyme Flinch, and she kills Nergal, and she's like, wow, this girl is good, and then, yeah, it's... They just... Something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Sounds okay. like Lowen needs some healing. He'll get some healing. Whoop! I think he has a Bonerary, or if not, Oswin might have one. Whoop! Okay, Lowen level up! Bra -ba 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 -ba. Hit points! <laughs> Looks like his strength is really good, actually. What the fuck? 
Not sure if Marcus doubles these guys. Uh, he might. I think he he'll... Does. I... He got a speed level up, he will double. Oh, right. Doesn't he lose one point of speed from the Javelin, though? Oh, I think he loses one from Hand Axe. Right. But not from Javelin. Ah, oh, what a bad unit. Khan is the best stat. I thought Luck was the best stat. <laughs> That's what I thought. I, I legitimately, when I, start, <laughs> I started playing Fire Emblem, I thought that Luck was the best stat because it yes, affected... Yes, I was memeing. <laughs> Yeah, but I just want to explain myself why I thought luck was the best stat. Okay, okay. Um, I thought that, you know, a stat is good depending on how many things it affects, right? I guess. So the, the game told you that it affected three things and you thought it was good for that reason? It, it, it Description in Fire Emblem Sex reads, it affects many things. So I was like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, mm, luck gives the most value per point because it affects all the other stats. That's what I thought. So I was like, hmm... You know, having a lot of luck must be really good then, since it affects many different things. Get all the goddess icons yeah. that you can buy. Alright, so we got a rare opportunity here to give Aluwood a kill. I think we'll take it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aluwood is good, guys, I swear. He is really good. I'm actually sort of considering maybe we should have bumped him down to one star, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, after promotion, he's really good. It just takes a long time. Yeah. So I'm. But it's not. It's not like Rebecca where it's impossible to feed kills almost. Ah, support, support. Nice one. Ah, I think. Have we done this before? Maybe.